You know, it's me, your little boy, Chris Samson. You know, I'm here to give you reasons why choosing ones are are first rejected before they are being what accepted. One of it is that what people get so easily, they can give it out or lose it or forget about it so quickly. You know, there is a saying that is being said by my dad. He do used to repeat this. He said, whatsoever you get easily, you can also lose it so easily. Meaning that the reason why God allow people to reject you before they discover your value is because of the fact that he want them to know the value of what they are losing. Trust me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So God truly wants people to know what they are about to lose. So another reason why God always allow choosing ones to be rejected before they are now being accepted is because he wants to make sure he placed you accurately where you belong. <laughs> because let me tell you, you know, this is a, a, a water. You know, let me tell you, this is a water. If adventure now, if adventure, I get this water either along the road, maybe they have pump water all over this place. And you come to understand that maybe this water now is not cold and the one along the road is cold. Is cold. I can easily throw away this one. But as long as there is no water here and there is no way I can get, I can get it all or decide to go and have it around this place, what I will do next is that it does not matter whether the water is hot, it does not matter whether it is cold, it does not matter whether it is not cold, I will try it by all means to do what to take it because I need it at this particular time. So the reason why God always do so is because he want to give you that place to where you accurately belong. He want to keep you that place. Meaning that this water, I will save it, keep it because I need it. It is something that I need the most. Because I want to drink it so that my body can do what can get what can get good so that I can feel what I can feel so powerful to walk you know what I'm saying so the reason why God always allow choosing ones to be rejected before they are being accepted so that you can be placed accurately to that place where you ought to be because let me tell you look at it God supposed to if it were to be like, let's let just do it. The book of Esther, God have the power to tell, you know, king, this is the woman you ought to do what you ought to marry. There is no need for you to do competition. There is no need for you to do this. God will just blend from the eyes of the king. The king will just go there and pick and pick what and pick Esther. But God did not do so. God decided to make arrangement. The heart of king, king gather a lot of women, a lot of what beautiful and amazing women in the land, men and women, and he decides to favor only one, and he he turn Esther to a point where people start to turn against her. They were turning against her, not knowing that God was using all those obstacles, rejection, in order for him to place Esther a value that can never be forgotten. Meaning that the moment the king heard from Esther's mouth, there is a man that is, a, that is plotting and have dig a grave to kill her and, and his own brethren. The heart of a king greet her easily. And the king was so annoyed and he released the word. And that word become a judgment. And which leads to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the point where Esther was recommended and honored. So another reason why God always allowed choosing ones to be accepted because he wants people to know what it cost to get you. <laughs> you know, uh, when I was a kid, so anytime, that, 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 that was like 
six years, four years, five years. Anytime they ask me to go and look for a food, you know, anytime we are cooking, if I open my what my lap here, you will come to understand that I have a mark of what of of a hot beans. Why? Because anytime they ask me to go and look for a bit, you know, to go and take care of food and all those stuff, not that I know how to cook, just to take care of the fire. So I would just there be playing, be playing, digging hole, digging things, shouting, you know, doing playing. So one day I was playing when I when the food fall down. I was playing with what with the wood, with the firewood, and the firewood now for the what the, the the pot of beans and it pour on my lap you know what i'm saying it pour on my lap and no glory be to god that not all that poor but what am i say to saying this is that that day i get the value of what i always play with why because the food that i supposed we supposed to eat and get satisfied each of us there manage it we manage it. So the reason why God always allows some people to reject you before they, they accept you is because he wants to give value to your life. Because anything you don't have value for, you can easily destroy it and terminate it. You know what I'm saying? So look at my watch. Look at this. You know, uh, on my birthday, that was last year. So my landlord... But you know, give me this watch. So anytime I'm coming back, anytime I'm going work, I always have it. If you watch all my video, I always watch it. I don't do it. I just I don't just come out and do it and said, let me throw it, let me put it here. No, why? Because I know the value. I always use it to remember my birthday. Because it there is a value that attached to it. You know what I'm saying? So if adventure I see the watch on the road. Or maybe someone just threw it. I see it is working. And maybe I have another one. I can say, oh, this watch is already old. Let me just do it. Throw away it. But because there is a value that attached to it, that is why I do it. I keep it. And if you look around, you got to understand that even you yourself, there are some certain things that you can't dare to throw away. Why? Because there is a value. So if you look at it, there is also a reason why we throw away garbages. Why? Because they don't have value to our what to our our life. They don't have any value to add to us. So the reason why God always allow people to reject you before they discover whom you are is because He want them to know what it takes to have you. So another thing that will that allow God, another thing or reasons why God will always allow you to be rejected. Even by people whom you love the most or people whom you expect that they will give you that particular thing you want or that job or that or that position. The reason why God will always do it because he wants them to come to a point of knowing that those whom they thought are better than you can never be better than you. Meaning that in life, you know, I can remember when I was in school. So there, were, there was someone that I was, you know, living with in years back. So this person do used to tell me that, you know, your friends are more intelligent than you. They are smarter than you. They are doing than you. They, they are do that, 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 you, you know, all those abusing words. So after everything, there was a time that I was communicating with one of her friends. So what that, what that her friend was telling me, do you know that? The same person that you are living with is now telling us that he, 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 she made the highest mistake of what of treating you and throw you away because he never believed that you are what you are intelligent and you are like this. If not, she will have not made that mistake. Meaning that rejecting me now have caused her. To know the person that he do do what he rejected, because he have not come to discover that those she thought they are better than me are not whom she thought they are. So what am I trying to tell you is that God will always allow people to reject you, so that they can end up realizing that you can be you are absolutely better than those 
whom they thought they are better than you. Look at the life of what of this man called David. Everyone in Israel were selected to do or to world war, to play the role of a man. But David was the only one that was recorded, even in the family that was what rejected, meaning that they neglected him. But later on, God proved them wrong by letting them know that they rejected the one that's supposed to be appointed at the first. Because sometimes people reject you because they have no idea the kind of anointing you carry. So they rejected David, not knowing that David was carrying anointing that that do what that he was carrying something that it that that ought to kill Goliath without a threat, without what stress. So you need to understand that God will allow people to reject you before they do what they accept you. You know what I'm saying? So remember blessed. May God do what blessed you.